What's up, nigga? I'm going to the 99 cent store here in Plano, Texas, right off the 75, and I see this trailer, and it looks like it's selling food. So I'm like looking at it, and the sign looks all just, you can't even see it. It looks like it was written with a crown. And this black dude with long dreads said, hey, man, come on. So I said, all right, you know, I like supporting small business, so let me go check this out. So I go over there, and all they sell is hamburgers, cheeseburgers, and chips. That's it. They just started their business. They got like a little tiny food trailer, and the hamburger is $8. So I said, all right. I said, let me try it out. Now, first and foremost, let me just say this. This is going to be racist about what's going to come out of my mouth, but it's the honest to God truth. And you guys out there, if you've eaten enough at other places, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. If the food is not Caribbean or Jamaican, if it's just regular, if the person that's black is running the trailer that I've bought food from, their food has never been good. I don't know why they always use cheap ingredients. They always use cheap buns, cheap everything. So I tend to stay away from food trailers if it's operated from by a black dude if he's not selling food from another country always just had a bad experience no matter what they were selling whether it was hot dogs hamburgers tamales whatever it says i've given up right but today i'm just saying you know what let's just give it a go right so eight dollar hamburger review by this black guy right here so first of all not impressed this is small as hell look at this look at this this is tiny this is about the size of a of a, of a, of a uh, McDonald's double hamburger. Oh, this is terrible. Look at this. This is awful. Uh, I'm not even gonna eat this. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna march right back there. I gotta, I gotta go have a word with him. I can't eat this. I just had a nice little conversation with them, and I didn't come at him with like complaining. I just came at him like this. I said, yo, bro, listen, man. This is the worst hamburger I've ever bought for $8. Like, look at this. Like, these, this is $8, bro. I'm not even lying. Look look at this meat. Look, uh, look. I mean, hot, I'm feeding it to the birds right now. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, nah, I told him, I said, straight up, bro. I said, I said, this hamburger looks like someone just made it themselves, bro. You, you can't even serve this nonsense. I mean, dude, they're getting their bread from like the store or whatever. I'm good. No, these these birds, I eat. Sh nah, you know what, man? Let me tell you something. A lot of times, people, you know, they'll say like, "Oh, you're racist." No, you're this. You know that. It ain't about race. It's about what you're used to dealing with. And every time when I go to a, a place, I, and I'm not even talking about a restaurant. Let me correct that. I'm talking about like if it's food on the street, like restaurant. Black restaurant, I never had a problem. It's always like when black dudes have like this tray, they just try to go cheap and then they try to upcharge their, their food like astronomically. I told him, I said, bro, go get some buns from like a, a restaurant style buns. I said, don't be, don't be selling hamburgers to people that you bought from Sam's Club. That's not going to work or, or not Sam's Club, like Smart and Final or you going to Albertsons or, or Walmart to buy your buns. I mean, that burger was sloppy as hell. The bun was like super soggy. That meat was little as hell. I mean, man, I it, I told him, I said, bro, I said, I'm not coming at you like like I'm, I'm talking shit to you. That even it. I, I want you to I want you to su succeed, you know, because there's not that many black um, uh, small business owners in the United States. So that's why. You know, I don't choose whatever race to support, man. I support a anybody. That could have been a lady straight from Nicaragua that don't speak no damn English, and she'd have been selling tamales, and I still spend my money with her. I'll spend my money with practically anybody, like on the street, if they're like selling food or drinks or whatever. Even if I don't eat the damn thing, I still support them. But you can't be doing that nonsense because when I keep buying shitty ass food on the street from people that own these carts, and primarily they're black selling that food, that's why I don't stop with them. That's why I don't fuck with them. You know what I mean? It's it, 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 it ain't it ain't me being racist. It's just me having an experience with black folks in food vending businesses 
when they're not cooking their native food, when they're not cooking uh, Caribbean or Jamaican food and they're trying to do American, they always do the same nonsense. They try to buy cheap, sell their garbage ass food. And, you know, hopefully he takes my advice. I, I told him, I said, bro, sell the hamburger for $12 if you have to. Just don't do this, man. Because, man, and, and bro, this dude, th this nigga tried to even give me a coupon. I was like, a coupon? Like, no, Madea's? Nah, bro, we ain't, nah, we good, bro. We got, I'm good. But if you see a cart, a white cart with a black dude with dreads, I mean, yeah, stay away from him. It's just, it's not happening. And I could be an asshole and put his number on blast, but I ain't going to do that because he was a very nice dude. But can't do that. Can't do it, bro. Can't do it. <sighs> Catch up with y'all later. I got to go get something to eat now. Peace out.